All right, so this is video number 22 on our YouTube channel. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about how making 20 YouTube videos has changed my life. I'm on our favorite trail here in Encinitas. It's absolutely beautiful. And the reason I'm making this video is because one, I'm super happy that we made 20 videos. Our goal is to make 30 by the end of the year. And also I've been watching a lot of videos of creators talk about their YouTube journey just for like motivation purposes because we're a small channel. I feel like I've found like a love for something outside of my normal nine to five job. So let's get into it. Okay, so reason number one, I get so much creative fulfillment out when I make a video now. I just love the process of like filming, editing, putting some music to it. I honestly don't get the same fulfillment from like working my nine to five. It's work and like I feel accomplished for like finishing a work day. Creative fulfillment is like a different kind of experience. I'm being full transparent in this video. Like that is a reason why YouTube changed my life is because I've been able to discover this like new feeling of fulfillment that is creative fulfillment i feel so happy after i post a video after i make a video i generally just love it and i enjoy it and it gives me a sense of purpose so yeah number one creative fulfillment So the number two reason I have is excitement. I look forward to this. It's currently five o'clock right now. I'm in a beautiful place. YouTube pushes me to go outside my comfort zone. I, I use a different part of my brain when I'm talking to a camera. It's just super fun. So far, no idea has been a bad idea. I feel like that's advice that I get from creators that I watch. Maybe one day, if we do stick to it, we will succeed. Like I told Lily this the other day, like my goal is to look back on this video in like five to 10 years, I'll be way older then, hopefully still young. And if it blows up or not, I, I can have the video for me, like for us to look back on, to share with our family, share with our friends. Like I know there's friends and family that already watch this. I just hope that we're making them proud and that it's content that they enjoy to watch. The reason why we watch the people we watch, the reason why I subscribe to the people I like, is because the things that they say I can connect to, like I can relate to. And there's just a different piece of YouTube that's like all about authenticity and sharing real personal experiences that I love and that millions of other people love. Our goal by just creating videos is just like also sharing that authentic piece of YouTube. The number three reason I have is that it's challenging. Honestly, just delaying gratification knowing that Nobody's watching this, and there's a chance that nobody could watch this. It's scary, it's weird, talking to a camera thinking like, man, who's gonna watch this? The challenge makes it more rewarding. So that brings me right into my reason number four. Every like and every comment is so rewarding. It honestly gets me thinking, maybe I am doing something right. Like maybe somebody will watch this one day. So we're only at 195 right now, we get like, maybe one comment and shout out to our loyal subscriber who comments, we love it. It's motivating every single time somebody feels that connection with us too.
Okay, so the reason number five I have, this has taught me how to learn about slow success. I've been told by like mentors in life to like delay gratification, be patient and just stay consistent and it will pay off. The work you're doing now is gonna pay off in five years. It's not gonna pay off right now. And you just need to understand that it's hard. I mean, I'm 22 years old, like learning how to succeed at a slow rate is tough because I wanna succeed now. Like who doesn't wanna succeed now? You gotta put the time and you gotta put the work in. That's something I've really learned. And I hope future me can look back on this and be impressed because I stuck with it. So reason number six that I have is it feels like I'm going towards my calling. I feel like it's taking me so long to like figure out what I want to do, where I want to go, or just have like any general idea about it. Just making YouTube videos, like creating videos, like I feel like it's going to take me far. It's going to take us far. There's just an endless amount of possibilities you can do when or if this became a full-time thing. Like it's literally a dream to travel the world make videos, do what I love, take care of the people I love, like be financially free. Uh, there's just a lot of aspects to it that I'm into, that I love and that I wanna do. So I feel like right now I just need to stay consistent. With 20 videos, you don't see the results yet. Ooh, this is a nice view. And honestly, I'm just learning to be completely fine with that. Also, I've been like reading and seeing the studies. I'm sure a lot of people have seen them. It just says how young people are like the most depressed and anxious they've ever been. To me, it's obvious why. It's because if you're spending all day like scrolling on your algorithm, seeing people who are posting probably better things that you're doing because like social media isn't showing all of the reality sides to people's lives. like. It's just the highlight reel. So everyone has their struggles and you're not like posting about your struggles. Like it's obvious why people are becoming super anxious and sad. Why does that relate to this video? Because me as a 22, 22 year old young man, like I'm trying to take initiative upon myself to have a positive perspective on life. And also just to like live my own life in my own terms. like. It's just kind of sad because I feel like this is how our older, how older generations like lived. Like they didn't grow up on social media and they just kind of like, they already did like live life on their own terms. So it's sad that now it's like, we have to reverse what, like we have to like reverse the damage <laughs> pretty much. Just share experiences with the people I care about. That's my goals, like life goals right there. First of all, thank you for watching this video. I really do like YouTube out of all of the other platforms just because of the connections you can like build with your audience and with people. That's why I'm doing it. When you're out on your own, like living your life, there is no comparison. Like you're living in reality. I feel like I got in with like kind of the wrong crowd uh, during college and like high school. And it took a lot of work to like dig myself out of it, to change and like figure out what I wanted to do. And a lot of people made fun of me for it. <laughs> like, I know a lot of YouTubers say that, but like a lot of people like always made fun of me for taking like a different route and going a different way. And to me, it always made sense. So I guess YouTube is just a way of me like putting my feelings and like expressing myself creatively. Like I'm able to put something towards my feelings. I'm, I'm actually able to like work towards something. So it's just been fulfilling in so many different ways. And I don't care how many subscribers like we get, like if we blow up, if we don't blow up, like I don't care, honestly. As long as I can just do this for the rest of my life and like genuinely enjoy it or like whatever it is that I do, like I will be happy. 
And with 195 subscribers, I already am happy. So yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace.